Hi everyone, this is Liz from Creative Life of Liz, and I'm here planning for week 33 of 2023, which is August 14th through the 20th. I'm in my Aura Estelle B6 Daily Classic. Um, this week's gonna be a little atypical because I have some different things going on, um, but I am planning to use this Happy Planner Mega Value Sticker Pack. This is the rainbow hues. Um, I think this one's no longer available, but they do have some other great options. Um, there's going to be 10 different colors I kind of measured. Um, there's like five big groupings and they each have two colors. So I'm going to end up skipping this kind of like turquoise color. And then, um, there's kind of like an aqua over here. So I'm going to skip those so that I end up with eight colors and start with red and then end on pink so that my weekend will be purple and pink. I think that's going to turn out really cute. Um, so my plan is to just go through, I didn't do a lot of planning on any of these colors. So I'm just going to hope that I can figure it out as I go. Um, might be kind of messy, but we'll, we'll hope for the best. I did also pull out these Mincho, um, fine liner needle drawing pens. I thought these would be good pens to use for this week because with all the other colors, I thought it might be nice to just have my headers in black. My plan is to just use the 1.0 millimeter, like pretty fat tip overall and just do all my writing in that um for all the headers and everything just to make it very clean I guess I think I'm also going to do it in all caps so I think that's going to be my plan I'm going to write all of that stuff in and then I will be back so that we can start figuring out all these stickers Okay, I've got all of the days and dates and all that stuff filled in. Um, definitely very bare bones right now. The font ended up a little more scribbly than I planned on, but I just got tired out. So we, we get what we get. Um, so let's just get started and we're just gonna go through all of this however slowly it takes. Um, I am gonna probably mix in some gold foil as I go. I think um, that might be fun to do. A lot of these, there's like two pages her thing so I might also kind of mix that stuff in um, as we go I don't know if I have anything maybe I'm going to use this let the good times roll over here I feel like that might be kind of cute and fun for this week it's obviously wider than a standard box but I think I can make that work out just fine um, and then underneath it um, I think I'm gonna take one of these this is only five um, but I feel like I most want to track my meals on weekdays anyway so I'm less concerned about what I'm doing on the weekends it's six. Okay, I can just put the weekends together and that's gonna turn out totally fine. Um, and I think that'll be good. And then, um, let's see. I'm also going to take, I think this guy that says, remember. And I'm just gonna stick it like over here. And I'm gonna stick my tending list underneath that. And then I have this little bit of space here at the bottom. Um, but I don't know that I really have anything like perfect to fit in there. I think what I might use is I'm just going to take this little like half circle and I'm just going to stick it down here. And then if I figure something out to put in there, great. If I don't, also not a big deal. Um, and it'll, I think, still look cute even on its own. So I think we're going to go with this as our kind of like weekly page. Moving on to Monday, that's when I want things to start to look a little more typical. So after I get through all these red and pink things, I do have orange and yellow um, coming up in this section. Um, so I think that that's mainly what I'm going to try to use. Um, I think I'm going to use this one that says rise and shine as my like quote box 
here. I feel like that's good vibes for Monday. That's a little bit wide, um, but I'm just gonna let it go into the Monday meetings. I think I can still make everything fit. And then I have a today, which I'm gonna stick after five o'clock to divide out that stuff, leave time for my workout or space for my workout to mark that. Um, perhaps I can use like this big box here. Okay, that's gonna mark my workout. And then I kind of just wanna get a little of this peach in because it seems fun. So I'm gonna use that to mark my steps. Not perfectly straight, but good enough. Um, we will we will just make that work. Um, okay, moving on to Tuesday. Uh, apparently not so good at writing in there, but that's fine. Um, let me see. I don't think I have any, anything that makes sense. Okay. Um, I could go with like this good vibes. Um, I think I'm gonna use this smile, it's today. I feel like that might be nice. Okay, that's really cute. And then I'm gonna use the one that says the plan. Right here. And then I do wanna stick a couple of boxes here for workouts and the like. Um, so here's a workout box. There we go. And then my steps box. There we go. Um, so I think that's pretty typical day two. Then things start to get weird on Wednesday which I'm gonna use green for Wednesday. Um, let me see if there's any like, whatever. Oh, this is like a two side section. All right, um, I think I'm just gonna go with I think maybe this one might be nice. Uh, I'm just gonna stick this in the usual spot I would stick it. I did not put hours on here because I'm not sure what my work schedule is gonna look like um, because it's kind of an atypical day um, because this is actually like a travel day for people who are from out of town at my company so that they can come in and get ready to do um some work with us so i think i'm gonna use a slightly smaller box for this workout because i feel like i might not need as much space because i think i'm gonna have kind of a weird day so we're just gonna make it fit there and then i'm gonna stick in a little box for my step still there we go um and then i know that we're going to have an evening event and I kind of like this guy. I think it's really kind of cute. Um, so I'm gonna stick that down here, I think. There we go. All right, so that's what I'm gonna set it up here for our evening event, workout steps. I'm leaving this side here in case I do need to stick in some meetings or something. This will be a bit of a to-do list, stuff like that, and then I can stick my uh, meal tracking stuff here, I think, will be the plan. I'm not sure if I'm gonna track on this day because it might be just too confusing, but we'll see. Um, okay, so now we're moving into blue. This is another day where I've got absolutely nothing filled in because it is an extremely atypical day. Um, this is also where the planner moves to silver instead of gold, just to make things more complicated. Um, so I don't mind mixing metals, but I might try to avoid it if possible. Um, so looking here, 
I think I'm gonna put this one that says thankful, grateful, blessed, because this is gonna be a very exhausting day. And so I feel like it's helpful to have a little reminder. There we go. Um, I don't think I'm gonna fit in a workout this day, because um, honestly, it's just gonna be a very long day. I am gonna take, I think this bright blue, and I am just gonna stick that, I guess down here, and that can mark my steps still. But I'm just gonna put in some, you know, like maybe a list of the think topics we're trying to cover, or maybe a couple notes, things like that um, for the day. Friday is a day off because it's another travel day for people who need to travel. Um, oh shoot, I end up, I'm in the wrong, I did my colors wrong, I think. All right, well, if I try to pick this guy up, I think I can make it still work out. I'm gonna use make this side be more turquoise. And I'm gonna stick this guy over here. There we go. Okay, um, so if we make this one more turquoise, so that I can make this all work out the way that I would like to. Um, let me find the kind of turquoise boxes. I think I'm gonna do this color for the transition from green to blue. I think that's gonna line up okay. Um, over here, I stuck in that box. I am gonna stick in a workout box. I'm sticking them on the outside here because I don't have to worry about this like regular schedule situation. So I might as well like play around um, with my layout a little bit. And then I'm going to pull out this sticker, which is kind of the same colorway as the one on the previous page, actually. So these guys are gonna end up pretty similar, um, but relax, seems appropriate for a day off. I think that's gonna turn out pretty well. And I think we're gonna call that good for those two. And then we move into the last two, which is when I'm gonna pull out the pink and purple section of this planner. Um, this also goes back to gold, in case anyone is curious. <laughs> um, let me see. I'm seeing if there's one that kind of like uses both colors in a way that I care about. I really should have used these letters for the days, but I didn't and I'm not gonna fix it. Um, okay. Guess not. I am going to use the purple that says happy weekend. Feels appropriate. I'm gonna stick that down here. There we go. And then um, let me see. I mean, I could choose the one that says weekend, but that feels a little bit silly when I already have one that says happy weekend. So I'm gonna say this one that says joy, I'm gonna try to use that over here. Um, and then I am gonna try to stick in just a couple of boxes for steps. And then I think everything else, we're just gonna see how the weekend goes. Um, as we've been doing. So I'm going to take, I think this one is going to mark my steps. I think I'm gonna stick it up here towards the top. There we go. And then on the other side, I'm gonna to try to choose like a different pink than where it says joy. And I'm gonna stick that down here. There we go. And I think that's, all I've got so far. I'm just gonna close this back up and we'll see what we end up using later um, during the week. But this is where we're at so far with our little rainbow hues. 
Um, I think it's looking really cute. These two days did not turn out perfect, but I still actually really like how they turned out and I think they're gonna be really cute um, for what's going on. My expectation is I will not be able to show you Monday and Tuesday for sure. I'm pretty sure Wednesday is also going to be hidden as is Thursday, but I will show you Friday and then the weekend when that's finished. So hopefully everything turns out cute and I can share those spreads. Um, so stick around for just a second to see the finished week. All right, here are the finished spreads. I actually have more to show you than usual, um, but that also means that there's more things covered up that you get to see, um, but we'll go through it. Um, this was kind of like the weekly spread. I think it turned out pretty well, cute, filled it all in. Um, I ended up deciding to use the first dot as like a header. And then I marked Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for my dinners here and just noted that Wednesday and Thursday were work dinners. So didn't really have anything to mention um, in particular there, no planning required. Um, and then moving on to the next page, Monday, Tuesday were work days. So nothing that I can share. Um, Wednesday was a partial work day. So that's why you see some things covered up. Um, but I kind of wanted to show you what a more or less typical kind of setup would look like on a weekday. You usually don't get to see these finished spreads. Um, so this side is usually my um, schedule of meetings. Um, but here I just put a couple of like the kind of highlights of things I needed to deal with uh, with a couple of icons just because I thought it would be cute to have a little more color. And then I have my workout and my steps over here in the middle underneath the kind of um, full box. I stick in my calories, which is what's covered up and then my food. And then on this side, this is usually just a running to do list. I did drop in the event. Sometimes I do that on weekdays as well. If I have particular events like a movie night with friends or going somewhere or whatever it might be, um, I sometimes stick in a box or something there. Um, so that's what I did in this case as well. But that's a pretty typical weekday setup for me when it's finished. Um, some days are busier, some days are less busy. Um, but that's more or less the kind of content uh, that would go in here. Uh, moving on to the next day, Thursday was another day I can't share my notes on. Um, but looking at Friday, um, this was a day off from work. Things were kind of a mess as a whole because I had no power, but it was fun to kind of just fill in with some various blue items um, to make it look kind of cute there. And then um, moving into the weekend, Here's kind of what my weekend setup looked like. Again, turned out I think pretty colorful and fun. Um, and I do like how it turned out, filled some stuff in, got to use some checklists, which I always enjoy using and I don't get to use very often in this planner. They don't line up perfectly with the grid, but honestly, I think it turned out totally fine. Um, so that's what I've got for this week. As always, please like and subscribe below if you haven't already. I really appreciate it, it helps me out. Let me know your highlights of the week down below or anything else you wanna share. Uh, leave me some sort of rainbow emoji. If you just wanna say hi, I would love to just chat there as well and just know that you uh, came and visited. And then also follow me on Instagram at Creative Life of Liz. You can see in progress and finished spreads of as much of this planner as I can share, my book planner, bits and pieces of my life, what I'm reading, all that good stuff. And until next time, bye.